why why this you know even before Bamiya became flag bearer you see and this is something that you have to take even before he became flag bearer that then 10 people who com competed for the ndc flag bearership did you hear the ndc talk about any of them <laughs> you know there are 10 of them did you hear the ndc talk about any of the 10 Apart from Baumia. Why are they particular about him? So that shows you that there's already a fear. You think he's the, he's the nemesis or something? Oh, absolutely. Otherwise, why would they be spending their resources mm. out of 10? Why would you be spending your resources attacking and undermining one? Mm. Why would you do that? When you have a football team and all the defenders are attacking one person, then you know that they know that he's a danger man. Exactly. So what next? What should we expect? He has said the ball rolling. What you should expect is that after all this propaganda dies down, the ideas will come up. Hmm? The, these things, they are just, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? There's a term for it. Not very, uh, red hairy. That's what I was doing. These are all red hairy. They will die off. And the, the core of the man's presentation, the vision, will come up. And we want the NDC to compete on the ideas. If they're going to compete on this red hairy, we will tell them, that your man has been president. Tata Mahama said he wasn't going to make any promises anymore. And then he said that there's no money, people should give him a honeymoon. But he's promising to pay assemblymen. He's promising to buy chicken for people to rent, sell the eggs. He's making all kinds of things. Yeah. He's going to get more interest. <laughs> should we be expecting more promises from your end? Promises in terms of ideas to transform. Baumia has said at the speech that we've got a lot of social policies, health insurance, leave, free education, blah, blah. It's time to consolidate, review and consolidate. But focus now on growth. That's what he has said. And you're going to see a lot of pro-growth policies. What message do you have for Ghanaians? from the Baumia camp, the lecture, and what we should expect going forward? My, my message is that the NDC attempts to create a wedge between President Akufuado and Vice President Baumia by saying that Baumia has deserted Akufuado, Baumia has ostracized Akufuado, Baumia has betrayed Akufuado, Baumia has taken himself out. They are all lies. Huh? Bamiya has never said anywhere that he's not part of the government. Indeed, you just have to look at his speech. The first one and a half, which is the peak listening period, was on the, on the, achieve, the, the, the work of the government. It will not wash. The call will come out after the propaganda dies down. And it will be a contest of ideas. And in that contest, John Rama cannot win. Thank you.